Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. Thank you for joining us. This is going to be a very busy, fun, colorful Saturday as we go shopping for high school reunion. This is in three parts. This is part one. I hope you will watch all of them. And we are going to get hungry. We're going to try on a lot of outfits. Look at Kenton. We are going to do a lot of shopping. And I hope you enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Good afternoon, my dear. Today is Saturday. And here in North Carolina, we got lots of places to go. Look, my hibiscus has come out. So pretty. So I got my hair pulled back in a bun and I'm ready for a busy Saturday afternoon. Got the healthy oatmeal with raisins and cinnamon. So what's the plan today? Okay, so me and the kids and Kenton or Kenton and I and the kids are going to Durham to an African store, Ngozi. I'm going to go there, probably go to the mall also looking for a few things because guess what? I am going to my high school reunion. So this is the first year think hearing about it because I didn't really make up my mind till recently. I'm going to my high school reunion. And I'm not talking about my um, uh, American high school. I'm talking about high school, Nigerian high school, okay? So this was over 30 years ago, oh my goodness. So I'm not actually going to Nigeria. It turns out FGC Sokoto, which is the school that I went to many years ago. Yep, that's my alma mater from the ages of about 11 to 16. And this picture is a picture of me and my dad when I was about maybe 11, 10, 11. But I think this was before boarding school. I think this picture was taken on a trip to England. So this is what I used to look like with my pigtails, round face. I think we look alike. This is what I look like about the age of 16, 15, 16. That was my last Salah in Nigeria. So can you imagine, this is what they remember, okay? And then this picture was in Brooklyn, New York. That's me and my mom. So I would think I was pretty skinny, but I basically look a lot like both my parents, but I was thinner. And so it's kind of weird to me to think that this is what they last saw and now I am going to see them, you know, 30 years later. What are they going to think? <laughs> they have reunions all over North America. I mean, they have reunions all over the world for some of the graduates. And so for those of us who live in North America, this year, 2018, they are meeting in Maryland. So um, I have basically just made reservations for the hotel um, at the Marriott and also um, reservations for our meals and bus tours so it's going to be a lot of fun I'm definitely very excited but I'm also pretty nervous because a lot of these people I have not seen in basically over you know in so many years I have not been to Nigeria I have not seen these people I don't know what I'm going to remember most of them but apparently they remember me because they reach out and they write and they when they talk to me they tell all these stories of things that happened that I don't even remember anyway so I just don't want to disappoint people. You know how when people have an expectation of who they think you are and then they meet you and they're like, oh, she's fat, she's short, she's this, she's that. <laughs> so that's how I'm feeling, honestly. Uh, I am excited, but honestly, I have this like, uh, anyway. I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of window shopping today. Look at my handsome son, huh? Wearing a Nigerian West African shirt because actually this shirt could be Ghanaian. This shirt could be any West African outfit. Turn around. Let me see Khalid. Turn I around. I think that would be perfect if I was wearing sandals. Are <laughs> you wearing sandals? <laughs> and this came out of my mother's closet, believe it or not. So this outfit is like older than Khalid. <laughs> Hi folks. What are we up to today? We're always up to something. Where are you up going to today? To, um, Oh, how do you pronounce it? Ngozi? Ngozi. In, oh, Ngozi. Ngozi. <laughs> Ngozi. <laughs> it's an African boutique store. So, why are we doing this? 
Oh, uh, your reunion, FGC? Yeah, my FGC. FGC? <laughs> yeah, but you're excited because you want to eat African food. Yeah, it's but like, uh, it's not African food. No, it's African food and Caribbean food. One day it's African food and one day apparently it's going to be Caribbean food. So, anyway. Hey kids, say hi. Hey Miriam, can we see you in the back? <laughs> With Khalid wearing his African attire. Yeah. <laughs> The Marriott straight ahead. So here is one of the African stores in Durham called Exotique. Right here. Fabrics and gifts. Ooh, definitely want to go in there. Yeah, we could go in here. So we got the owner here. <laughs> Her name is Lola. Lola. And you should come visit her at Exotique, which is on Main Street in Durham. She's got a lot of stuff here. Yes, I'm excited. Different, different African countries and by local artists as well. Okay, cool. The whole idea is to show for people's creativity and the beauty of hand -made Handmade items. things. Yeah, I love it. I'm looking at all your necklaces up there. I have like a high school reunion. I went to FGC Sokoto. Okay. And they're having a high school reunion and where I thought I... Where is it gonna be? Yeah. In Maryland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I should go with something. Yes. You know, I can't show up there with all American clothes. Well, you can. <laughs> Especially if the Nigerians are coming. And they, are, they all get dressed up. Yeah. Yep. And I don't have anything Nigerian, not really. So I'm gonna look around. Okay. Thanks. Got all this uh, bling, 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 bling. Ken, did you see something there? If it's t shirty material, then that's not traditional. No. Yeah, it has to feel like that stiff type of Ankara type. Uh, hmm. It's nice, but mm. head wraps. I like these baskets. So, what made you move to? Um, Durham from Chapel Hill. My children finished college, so uh, oh, okay. She's showing me this is a wrap dress. Alright, I guess she could wear it like that or with, with jeans or a dress with leggings. Got a skirt, y'all. I got a skirt. <laughs> Thank you. Rwanda cloth bags. Look at these baskets. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, I like this. Kareem, you didn't see something you wanted? Oh, they'll also custom sew something. So you can buy fabric here if you want or you can bring your own fabric and they'll sew something for you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see next door, right next door. What? Oh, they're right next door to each other. Look at all of this. Right. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. 
<laughs> so I am here at Ngozi's, which is an African boutique store, I would imagine. Yes. Okay. And this is the owner. Hi, how are you? Good. What you making? We are working on a custom order for a client who's going to a gala. Oh, okay. In New York. Oh, in New York? Yeah. Oh wow! Yes. And so you're making her yeah, something. It's all white. Yeah, it's an all white gala. Oh, so okay. Cool. Satin welcome. Thank you, you. thank Do you. So I'm just gonna look around. I see a lot of handmade, interesting jewelry in here. These are pretty epic. This one is uh, our oldest uh, consigner here. He's about 80, 81 years old, and he oh, makes really? this jewelry from um, silverware. Oh wow! And spoons. Oh wow! Cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Another artist who lives in uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Andrew Rock is the name of his company. Okay. And all this is handmade. Wow. Uh, well, the only reason I chose the huh. other one was because. So your stuff is from all over. You got different artists that contribute. Oh, uh, uh, one of my friends was just wearing one of these. Yeah, this is a Kenya Fair Trader. Okay. I like this long skirt. Look at this. Yeah, I like this. Mm hmm. Let's see, 98. That's not bad. It's not formal, it's very casual. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> look at Ken. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't look bad. It looks good. Turn around. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Let's see number two. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't fit you right here. <laughs> yeah, the other one looks better. Oh, okay. Red silk fabrics. Okay. Look, she hand dyed yeah. this fabric. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> trying to give it a style. Yes. Okay. So you make these to sell, or this for a particular occasion? Yeah, this is for sale. Oh wow. Do custom orders and do custom colors as well. Okay. I got your number there, 919-797-8651. Yeah, we've been married for over 20 years. Oh, good. Yeah, we've known each other since we were teenagers, little. Wow. Yeah. Teenagers. Teenagers, right? You look like, I don't know about that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. We decided to eat Thai food. This is my Thai peanut salad. How many shops One. Who wants shops Two. Two. You get the Thai chicken. It is chicken. That is looks good. Chicken? Oh, it's that looks chicken. good. So me and Miriam are gonna have that. <laughs> Miriam's not sharing. <laughs> So this is where we just ate, right there. So we just left the restaurant and now we're gonna go to, we gonna Crabtree Mall or? South, South Street. South Street Mall, South Point Mall. South Point. Why did I come up with Crabtree? Where was Crabtree Mall? Yeah, that's, uh, that's in Raleigh? Raleigh? Yeah, oh, okay, Raleigh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Durham's cool. Made it to the mall. Getting some vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. Yep, she needs it. Actually, there's one of the dresses I tried on. Uh -huh. So I'm looking for walking shoes. Do these look like walking shoes to you? They look comfortable. Well, not really. Some of them, the heel is too much. Oops. But this looks comfortable, honestly, and neutral and would go with anything. 
See, for me, these are too flat. They're very pretty, oh, yeah, but no, they're no. very flat, and I don't find them comfortable. I need a heel. Yeah, like this. See, it's not too much. Yeah. I think these might be. I might try these on Let's later. Try on see. I don't know. Oh, look at these ones. But they're so flat. That's my only problem. They're so pretty, but they're flat. 60 bucks. Put them in silver. I really like them, but if for formal shoes, this is what I would be thinking about. Hmm. It's probably more me. Yeah, because this heel isn't too much. These are comfortable walking shoes, but they're so ugly in my opinion. Ugh, I just can't get myself to wear stuff like that. Nice colors, but just not me. But I know they're comfortable. How about these? Would I wear this with a skirt? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe Mariam, this is more like you, right? That's more like you. You'd wear these? Mm. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, there are those shoes here. Again, I'm still looking for comfortable walking shoes. This is $100. $99.99. Do you think I can walk in these? I think so. Or these. Actually, these, these look like Herman Monster shoes. So Mariam's trying on one of these, look. It's, I think it's kind of cute on you, Mariam. Here you go, Mom. Some shoes for you. No, I hate those, but try them on. Try them on. Try that them was on. a joke. That was a no, joke. try them on. Let me see. Switch try them on. Bone. Switch this <laughs> All right, I'm looking for a dress. Let me leave those two. You know, I never wear red, but I think red would look good on me. My God, how big is this dress? It's like, what are you carrying underneath this dress? Look at it. Look at this slinky gold number. Hmm, think I could pull that off? Actually, I have this bag here. I have this bag in a different color. In brown, but I use it for work. Ooh, look at these bracelets. Color, 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 color. looking at oh. Alto is having a sale that's what we like looky here looky here I think these look comfy 80 bucks Too. 
So we decided to go into Belk. Belk, you know, is a southern brand, so some of the sizes come a lot larger, so I'm more likely to find women's sizes up here, women's long evening dresses somewhere. Of course, they have the customary Michael Kors bags and Bernie and Dooney and Burke. Brahim. You into crocodile skin? Look at this, like full crocodile skin bag. It's not bad, honey. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Let me go close. Uh, you'll see the cut's not quite right on you. You think? I see a little dance. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maria, what do you think of your daddy? Oh, God. He needs help, y'all. He needs help. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure, honey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> really? Oh my god. So, decided to go into Nordstrom's. They have a nice big Mac counter. Oh my god, look at all these YouTubers I know. Well, I don't know them like that, but Patrick Starr, I watch him all the time. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, look at my salad bowl. I'm going to use this for my little mini salads try and be healthy but look at this this bowl says you are globally traveled you've been around the world you appreciate natural authentic materials and beautiful <laughs> you know how much this is this is $60 Nordstrom $60 I think Kenton found where the formal dresses are here in Nordstrom. It's a really big, spacious place here. The struggle. Mariam's trying to hold this dress together while I put this dress on. Oh my goodness. It's not working. Okay, just excuse the bra and the lack of waistline. <laughs> but this dress is pretty. I zipped it up though. I like her glasses though. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna put them on right now. It looks cute on me, doesn't it? It really does look cute on me. Yeah, my Bye. getting late so we decided to stop by the cheesecake factory to get some dessert to go and then head home to eat dinner So I'm so happy to be home.
<laughs> to start thinking about packing well maybe I got a few more days before I start packing but anyway this is the bag from Ngozi or Ngozi this has got Kenton shirt in there or top this is my Ankara skirt which I'm gonna figure out what blouse I like to try on my stuff figure out what blouse I want to wear with it because I bought myself a couple of blouses oh this is this beautiful smelling fresh classic or very elegant smelling perfume that I bought from Joe Malone this came from the mall Crabtree mall we ended up going to the Crabtree mall in Raleigh I bought some sandals simple not very expensive not very fancy sandals to walk up and down with because I'm not really a sneaker person especially since I like to wear dresses and skirts even though I did buy a pair of jeans um, from Belk should I show you I guess I could show you but this is not really a haul um, you know I have work clothes I have a lot of work clothes I don't always have very a lot of casual you know just kind of casual clothes so I did buy a few <laughs> this bag just does not want me to open I guess you're just gonna have to see it when I wear it so dinner today for me um, is some greens and these tamale cakes from Cheesecake Factory I just put them in this nice bowl of mine the kids in Kenton are planning to eat pizza which I will not be eating I like chili or pepper on almost everything. That just gives you a little extra, extra kick. So I'm gonna put some on this tamale cakes. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. With avocado, sweet tamale cakes, avocado, and sour cream, and a little bit of onions. Dessert is about to be bomb. That is celebration cake, regular cheesecake with strawberries. That's the lemon chili, and this is chocolate mousse. <laughs> I know that was wrong of me. He was fast asleep, and I could not help it. His belly was right there. Anyway, I did get his permission, so he did see this clip, so he knows, so it's okay. Anyway, come back soon for part two is going to have us going to Maryland. You'll get to see the reunion. You'll get to see my reaction, my friend's reaction. So much fun. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you soon. Yeah, it's a pretty big hotel. The normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get one. That's the best. Get a pick. August. August. Yeah. Thank you. Just put in the group. This is the Washington Monument. Right there. Yeah. Look at the house.